There are lots of these anecdotal observations from neurologists and therapists, and usually they're ignored by, by mainstream neurology because they say, oh, well, you know, it's an N of one. What do you make of an N of one? I'm sure everybody here knows what I mean by N of one, just one example. So what do you make of it? You know, and they ignore it. But that's bullshit because, you see, uh, m most of the great discoveries in science, many of them were made up based on one observation initially. I mean, my example to illustrate this, if I were to bring, bring a pig to the podium right now, and I said, this pig can talk, and you say, what? And I wave my wand and it starts talking. What will be your reaction? Your reaction is not going to be, oh, there's just one pig, show me another. <laughs> you're you're going to say, my God, you know. So your observation to me is like that. If I can trust what you're saying, then you should go look at it again and do it on more people and see if it's true. You know, you don't, you don't brush aside something because it's an, just an end of one. I mean, Galileo looking through the telescope at the moons of Jupiter was a 10-minute experiment, but changed, changed our view, view of the universe, right? 